afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here to review the SPY. Why? We had a we had a huge, massive gap down this morning. And actually, last night in the post market, I watched this until I left the house last night. We had a huge rally, huge rally. Okay, all the way up into the close here, 212. Really big move after hours. Big move into the close and the big move after hours. And then all of this is a news reaction with an expectation of what would have been a positive out vote for uh, Great Britain to stay with the EU, but that's not what happened. When I woke up this morning and saw, and saw on my phone that, that that was not the case, I knew we'd be down. And in my mind, I pictured us being down around the 200 period moving average. We, we were there at one point this morning on this bouncy thing here. Uh, 202, 202, right in here we were at one point this morning. We were, we were underneath it. Actually, the low of this tail here, look, is 225. So my expectation when I get up was that we'd, we'd be here. And at, at, actually, at one point, we were all the way down here in the tail. But we ended up opening here, above the 200 pre moving average, which is the red line. But I knew the market would hold today. In fact, I wrote in the real market outlook bullish today, and everyone questioned me and thought they didn't know what to say, but I, I knew that the market outlook today would be very, very bullish. That's exactly what happened, for the morning at least. How we close will be interesting to see because this market is very volatile today. Hugely volatile today. But the morning move I called right in the gap, which was to rally. So what happened? Market open, open at 203.63 and literally ran all the way up to 207, I think, 205.84. Yeah, 205.84 and then we ran up here, a little bit after 10 o'clock, almost to 207. Okay, so we'll just see what happens here today in the close. I'll have to look at it, but things won't get back to normal until next week for sure. But all of this is buying. This is huge, massive buying that came up into the market this morning. And massive buying that was in the market last night. So last night the market was getting bought. This morning the market's getting bought. We're holding the uptrend. You know, all of this is, 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 is a, it's very interesting because it's all buying. All of this is signs of strength. The massive move that we had this morning to rally and hold, and the massive move we had up yesterday, even overnight, is all signs of buying that are in the market. It gives me 100% conviction that we will make it over the high, which I've been predicting and saying. I know we gapped down today, but this is not a gap I would have shorted. And trust me, if, if I would have thought we would short this gap today, I'd have been short this gap and a million other gaps. Okay, that was not the case. So the reality is that today's day just gives me more confirmation of the bullishness in the market, that institutions are supporting the market, they're buying it up at every chance they get. Last night, yesterday, today, this is what it is, okay? We will get up over the high. I have no idea when. I can't predict timing of things in the longer term for the exact date, but I will tell you that to the live date, minute by minute, I can. When I watched the trading this morning, I called this long for anybody that wanted to do it, and it went huge. In 14 bars here, there wasn't one red one. You could have just bought the market and it power trended right up. Incredible, okay? And I can't wait to see where we actually close today. I mean, target for the market today is 208. Dream target's 210. That sounds insane, but it's actually not. So I, I think we're going to actually have a huge, 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 big market close today. Huge. I won't know until we do it. And the market's so volatile that anything can happen. This is actually... This is actually, I think, an invisible tick. I think this isn't a real print, but anything can happen here. But my call for the market today, my prediction for the close is we close very bullishly, very bullishly in the close today. And again, this tail is, this is real. This is not an invisible tick. It's a real tick that went off that came in that was buying. It was a machine generated buying that came in. Here, you can see it a lot better here. I mean, I, cause I, I watched this. I watched it live last night and live this morning in the pre-market too. And that's what I, when I saw it, I was like, wow. And I knew we we're gonna get bought then today. I knew we we're gonna get bought. In fact, I just, I just called it. I just called it when I saw it in the room live. This, when I, I saw this, it's hard to show now because it's stationary and it's flat, but if you watched this go off, you would have been like, oh. I mean, it was amazing. And I never saw anything like it. I never saw anything like the buying I saw last night in the post market coming to the market like it did last night in the post market. <laughs> Excuse me, but this was huge. This was, this was buying and it was real people. And that's why it ran up like this. So look for the market to follow through today. And we'll see where we go. Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information. Today is the last day to sign up for the Golden Gap class, which is this weekend, June 25th and 26th. And it's the last class before third quarter earnings season in the market. Have a great day, everyone.